I've got two Glenn Beck clips for you. One is laughable and the other is incredibly concerning. I'm going to start with the laughable one first. You know, there's a lot of allusions and references to the end times and kind of dystopian nightmares. And Glenn Beck is part of that group who likes to refer to those regularly. And Glenn Beck now is putting a bit of a timeline on exactly when the U.S. will turn into a dystopian nightmare. It's not that far away. Take a listen. I think a year from now, definitely two. Most of Americans are going to be working part time. There will be some IMF global tax that will add an extra 10% on everything. The people like me will be out of business. And the people that have done favors for this government will be in business. And they'll be fine. And we'll be the little worker bees. And they will test your children and train them from the very beginning to work for the corporation. Okay, so it's definitely close now. That's good. Isn't it a little curious, Lewis, how these dystopian situations, sometimes they're Bible based, sometimes they're more in this style that Glenn Beck presents, more the kind of one world government police state type takeovers. They're always just far enough away that it still makes sense to sit to keep sending money to Glenn Beck or to whoever it is, but close enough that you just start to panic a little bit in the back of your mind. It's always that it's never. 200 years away, right? If Glenn Beck were to say the dystopian nightmare is 200 years away, it's not effective enough. At the same time, if Glenn Beck says the dystopian nightmare is a week away, it's probably time to cancel your Glenn Beck subscription. So it's never that it's always perfectly timed. Yeah, he's he's a master of this. He's a master of making people afraid. And maybe within two years, uh, this master plan of his that I've talked about will be revealed where people basically give them all his all their money. <laughs> right. uh, we'll, we'll see. So you actually think that Glenn Beck may be setting up some kind of a almost cult like poison Kool-Aid drinking, except instead of literally drinking qu poison Kool-Aid, you just turn over all of your assets to Glenn Beck and give him power of attorney over all of your uh, over, over your life decisions. Something like that. Yeah, I, I see that on the horizon. That's my dystopian uh, nightmare prediction for Glenn Beck and his followers. If somebody has worked for Glenn Beck or or had any reason to 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 come to me and say this is all BS, Glenn Beck doesn't believe any of this stuff. It's just an act meant to make money. I would believe it. I would not hesitate for a second. I'm sure those people are out there. Uh, we'd love to talk to them.